Eco Brooklyn director Gennaro Brooks Church discusses zero brownstone technique and the importance of salvage materials in order to make this concept work. We have wood that we salvaged and some of it's ugly. So we got to throw it out because it's got mold on it. And then there's stuff that's got maybe just a tiny bit of mold. We'll cut off the mold and make sure the rest is good and we'll keep it. You know, these weren't stored correctly, unfortunately. So, you know, what we do want to do is the stuff that's good, but that we would never use, like this particle board over here. It's, it's a paper board. Um, OSB or no? It's, it's not OSB, no. It's, it's literally just paper. They use it for cabinets. Good, 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 good. Um, we're, it's, it's sat around a long time, and so it's, it's off-gassed enough. It has a little bit of formaldehyde in it, uh, which is a concern. So it's off-gassed sufficiently so that we can use it, cut it up. It's got no mold on it. Cut it up and put it in the walls as a kind of unusual soundproofing because we would never really use it for kitchens or anything. That's what it's typically used for. But um, the quality is not good enough for our standards. But you seal it in the wall and, um, you know, so no, nobody's going to see it aesthetically. It's not going to bother anybody. And it does add value to the, the sound insulation of the... That's good. The sound insulation of the uh, walls. The irony of a green building company is because we, we work with primarily salvaged materials that our waste is actually quite large. Um, the only difference, of course, is that we're, we're starting with waste, so anything we do use is diverted from the landfill. The stuff that we don't use was on its way to the landfill anyway, so we don't feel too bad about throwing it out. We did our best. We tried. Uh, so that's what we're doing here. You know, We're going through all this junk to try and salvage some of it, maybe cut it in half, get rid of the garbage. And uh, you know, here's one where we'll, it's damaged, so we'll, we'll, we'll use the middle part. Uh, Make sure we're, we're a good distance away from the wet part, which could get moldy. It's not quite moldy yet, but it will in a very short time. So that's the plan with this pile. It, it all, it's basically part of our zero brownstone technique. So everything we salvage, we, we use in our brownstones. Or, or better yet, we, we try to use, only use salvage materials in our brownstone. So, we have a zero consumption uh, metric. So if, if we're, we're constantly trying to get to the point where we're not buying anything new, we're only using garbage. And uh, luckily in New York, people's garbage tends to be quite nice. So, uh, that well. That applies for wood, that applies for wood, insulation. It applies for every single thing we can do. Um, what, that one actually is good. Yeah, cut it in half and we, we're good. Um, that that uh, applies to everything. However, almost never do we use appliances, toilets, faucets, uh, windows. We always buy those new because the older appliances, faucets, windows, toilets are just not efficient enough, either energy efficient or water efficient. So. Those are things that we, we never salvage. Uh, we feel it's a, it's a good thing to upgrade. Everything else, we, we do our best to salvage. Um, you know, obviously with mold, we, we don't screw around. We, we're very careful about the quality of the materials. And also, we won't salvage, we won't salvage pressure-treated stuff. Anything that has chemicals in it or anything that's got mold or any toxic stuff, we, we don't go near. We don't use pressure treated because it's been treated under pressure with uh, chemicals, the, the main one being arsenic. And uh, recently they reduced the amount of arsenic in pressure treated, but it's still there. And it's something that kills water life, and it's really not good for humans. It leaches out of the wood through the rain and the sun and the rain and the sun. Um, so we stay away from pressure treated wood. Uh, we'd rather let that go onto the landfill and exit the uh, recycle stream, the circulation of the recycling stream. But if it doesn't have chemicals, and if it's 
doesn't have mold or, or anything else, then we'll try to use it. It doesn't, in terms of the aesthetic, sometimes it's ugly and we spend more time fixing it up, but it's usually cheaper to start with. So we've got a little bit of leeway in terms of finances to, to do that cleanup.